Hello and welcome in our kitchen. The delicious recipe we are making today is mini tarts with walnut cocoa filling. They are such a great combination of both flavor and texture. On the screen, you will see all the necessary ingredients. I will also list them in the description box below. The first thing we will prepare is the soft dough for our mini tarts. In a large mixing bowl, combine the flour, the soft room temperature butter, the powdered sugar, and one egg. Begin mixing all the ingredients with your hands until the dough starts to come together. It's going to feel sticky in the beginning because of the egg. If you don't like kneading, you can also make the dough in a stand mixer with the dough hook attached. Once the dough comes together in a ball, we are ready to transfer it to a floured countertop and knead it until it's soft and smooth. It looks perfect and we can begin to roll it out. Keep flouring the counter, the dough, and the rolling pin to avoid tearing it. The thickness of the rolled dough needs to be about a fourth of an inch, just like this. Now we can begin cutting out circles. I'm cutting out my circles that are four inches in diameter to fit the mini tart tins that are two and a half inches in diameter. With my fingers, I'm arranging the circles in the little aluminum tins. Just look at how adorable they are. I am not greasing the tins because the dough is with butter so it will not stick during the baking. With this recipe, I can make exactly 20 mini tarts. Next, I'm making the walnut filling. To achieve nice texture, I'm chopping half of our walnuts into small pieces with a knife. The other half will be chopped finely in a blender. Add all of the walnuts in one bowl and add the sugar, the cocoa powder, and mix it well. The last ingredient we'll be adding is the three eggs that we'll beat up separately before adding to the walnuts.
Mix them well again and we are ready to begin filling our mini tarts. An optional addition is to add vanilla sugar if you have it available. On the bottom of each tart, add about half a teaspoon of the chocolate spread. I'm using Nutella. And then add one tablespoon of the walnut filling. If you prefer not to add the chocolate, that's perfectly fine, and the mini tarts will still taste amazing. Arrange all of the mini tarts on a baking tray so you can easily transfer them to the oven. We'll bake them in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. Watch them closely and you will know they are ready when the filling looks dry on top and it slightly cracks. The tart shells themselves are not supposed to get browned at all, otherwise they'll be too dry. Let them cool completely, and then take them out of the aluminum tins. They come out super easy, as I promised, and this is what we need them to look like. These tarts turned absolutely gorgeous. They're super chocolatey with a nice blend of that walnut, and it looks so elegant. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Love you and hope to see you soon, in our kitchen.